guys welcome back to my channel so I am so excited to say that I finally reached 100 subscribers it was a goal that I set for myself and I actually hit it a little faster than I anticipated so I'm very excited um, I know 100 is not a lot for YouTube but for me personally I'm just really happy and I am glad that my channel is getting some love and I'm glad that you guys are liking it so I'm gonna give you a little room tour of my nail room um, so my nail room is in the very back of my house it's actually the back portion of my bathroom and it was a tiny vanity and a like makeshift closet thing <laughs> and we tore it all out and turned it into my nail room it was a birthday gift for me last year so I've had this just under a year now and I'm loving it and hopefully I can get some more pictures up and decorate soon but let's go through and I'll show you everything it's a very tiny space but um, I make do with what I have <laughs> and I do pretty good so here it is you walk in you have a little narrow hallway area right past the bathroom and you walk in and there's my linen closet and I keep all my you know towels and toiletries and whatnot in there and I have this little chair here for when friends come over and have their nails done and then this is my nail table and I'll get into everything that's on it here in a second and then over here are my polish racks um, and a little drawer system and in the corner over here is a pile of um, like fabric pieces and like little sparkly background things to take pictures on and on this side is my vanity and another little drawer system and I keep my drill here and this is my travel case for when I go on vacation and I take my nail stuff with me and I've got my extra phone here so I can listen to my Pandora while I'm doing my nails and I've got my mirror covered up and some personal pictures covered up as well um, but yeah nothing too spectacular and this is my teeny tiny window and that is why I don't deal with acrylic very much um, you if you've messed with acrylic you know it smells really bad and I have one tiny fan and one tiny window so not really great <laughs> so let me show you what all is on my table my two lamps here and this one is really handy it's got a nice little caddy on it that spins around and I just keep my brushes and things that I grab on a usual daily basis just right here at hand and my cuticle oil um, and they are plugged in to this crazy system here so I only have two outlets here and here so I have to run like an extension cord down and around but you know it works <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna click my lights on real quick there we go and this right here is my um, camera stand it holds my phone I just film with my phone um, and I got this really cheap on Amazon and this is why I have shaky videos because this thing is very wobbly I tried hooking it to the table but that just makes it worse but yeah I just click my phone into that and then this is where I record all my videos so on my desk here I have my UV lamp and I have what I call my stamping station and it's just a little box that I got from the dollar store it was only a couple bucks and it's got these little sections in it it's very handy and I just keep all my stamping stuff in here so I've got my stampers my scrapers um, and my stamping plates these are all the little sleeves that Born Pretty sent along with their stamping plates but I bought cases for them so I've got these little cases I have about 30 of these round plates from Born Pretty store and I have this one here from Bundle Monster and it's really really cute and I've got one spot left to where I can buy one more plate and it'll fit in there <laughs> and then I don't have a holder for these uber chic plates but I only have two uber chic plates so I just set them there and I got my extra stamping heads 
and then all of my Bundle Monster stamping polishes and my Conad one. And then I keep my acetone right here in a little Minda dispenser. And then I have a couple spray bottles. One has rubbing alcohol in it, one has water. And I've got some toothpicks back here and some cut up paper towels, just like real handy stuff that I need while I'm doing stamping and stuff. And over here on this little drawer system, let me move my tiny little LED light out of the way. Um, I have this little box here that I just kind of keep odds and ends in. I keep like tape and all of my Sharpie markers in there. And then I have my non-acetone remover and my pure acetone and my rubbing alcohol all sitting there. And I'll show you what I've got in my drawers here. So I've got all of my files and buffers and uh, sponge blocks, some cotton pads, and my cuticle oil, some dappin dishes, and my cuticle protector, the liquid latex. And then in this one, I keep all my gel, the um, builder gels, and my dehydrator and primer, and then some extra orange wood sticks, and just little brushes and dotting tools, stuff that I don't use a lot, but are still handy if I need them. And back here is just more junk. <laughs> and then next one is the glitter drawer. So I've got uh, my sandy additives and all kinds of glitters. Um, these little teeny tiny glitter pots. I like getting these when they're on clearance, like right after the holidays. They usually have stuff like this. And I can do glitter mixes with them. And I've got all my little gemstones, some more glitter, little glitter baggies, and another um, package of brushes and dotting tools. And then just some stickers and water decals and random nail decoration type things in that one. And then the next one is kind of like a junk drawer. I keep my lint-free wipes and my gloves in here, my nail forms, and then a bunch of uh, like tips and things and some uh, gel that was sent along with my UV lamp for free. It was like in a huge bundle pack. Um, really don't use most of that stuff, so kind of just goes in the junk drawer. And then on the bottom drawer, I have all of my acrylic, uh, acrylic paints and some potted gels, which also came in that kit with my UV lamp, and <clears throat> my box of ColourPops, and my Sesh V. It's a huge uh, refill bottle and Sesh Restore. If you use Sesh V, you need to get this Sesh Restore. It is amazing. If you like Sesh V, you know how it gets when you get about halfway through the bottle. It gets kind of goopy. That stuff will save your top coat. It's amazing. You need it. So I can do a video on that if you guys would like to see that. So let me turn myself around here in my little chair and scoot back in my tiny, tiny little room. Okay. So in this drawer, this is mostly for um, my hair stuff and all of my like vanity type things. So um, in the top drawer, I do have like my color pops that I've already swatched on, and I've got like extra nail clippers for personal use, and I just save those in case I want to do some stamping on them. And then this one has kind of a random mix. It's got my drill bits in it for my uh, nail drill and my supplies for making uh, nail decals. And this one's just random hair stuff. Again, curling iron, flat iron, hair dryer, and then screws and whatnot. Just a bunch of random stuff. And let's go back this way and I'll show you my polishes. Okay, so this beautiful rack was given to me for my birthday right around the time we were doing this room um, from a friend. And I absolutely love it. It's metal, so I keep my magnets stuck to it. Very handy. And on top here, we've got all of the Madam Glam prettiness. Um, so we got our base and top coat and our matte top coat, the glow in the dark, um, my chameleons right here, and these are the one step gels. And here we just got all kinds of beautiful colors. 
and down here we get into the like glitteries and then these are the cat eye gels the magnetic ones and this is the smoothie collection and then over here in the corner I have my elite 99 and then just a bunch of random polish these are one of those things that I also got on clearance like after the holidays um, this is I think from Fergie it's wet and wild uh, Fergie by wet and wild and I got all those on clearance they were super cheap so and then some China glaze and some formula X from Sephora and some OPI and then my top coats and my peel off base and then over here on this clear rack I got this acrylic rack from Amazon we have a bunch of Sally Hansen stuff over here all different kinds the uh, insta dry the uh, salon manicure the gel miracle gel one and then Sally Hansen extreme wear and hard as nails just a bunch of Sally Hansen stuff and then up top I have my pure ice collection these are really nice because they're very cheap polishes they're under two dollars at the drugstore and they're they're really good polishes I really like them the color is really good and they're just good for the price you can't always find that so that's my nail collection of polishes yeah and I think that's pretty much it I want to put another one of these shelves right here and then I want to do some artwork or something on the wall because it's kind of plain and maybe even put my my logo gels and gems up there it would be really cute and then over here in the corner I think I'm gonna have the hubby build me some shelves so I can put my lamps on so they're not just sitting on the table and then when I have my friends come over and get their nails done I just slide my little table out like this and I slide it over so it sits across this way and they sit there and I sit on the side and it works really good so that's my tiny tiny little nail room I hope you guys liked it. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And I want to thank you guys so much for your support and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.